today I'm going to show you how to migrate a database that's currently on non-NetApp storage to your NetApp storage using Snap Manager for SQL. Here we've got a view of the database I'm going to migrate. It's called NetApp DB and it's currently residing on the C drive of my SQL server. Now if I open up Snap Manager for SQL, you can see I've already configured it and imported my SQL Server to be managed in the navigation pane on the left. If I click Configuration Wizard, I can actually use the wizard to migrate uh, from the local storage to the NetApp storage for me automatically. Now if I work through the wizard and get to the database selection option, here you'll see that if I open these parts, we can see these databases listed here currently have a status of invalid or local, which means they're not sat currently on the NetApp storage, and therefore I'm unable to take snapshots of them. Now, obviously I want to take advantage of the NetApp snapshot functionality, and to do that, this wizard will automatically move them uh, onto the NetApp for me. So, here's my database, and I'm going to select its C drive, um, its database file here, which currently is on C drive, and I'm going to move that. So you'll notice I get the option of either putting it onto a LUN, which is the traditional method of SQL, or I can actually move it onto an SMB share. So since server 2012, um, it's been supported to run your databases off uh, SMB shares. So I can actually put uh, the database there as well if I wanted to. In this instance, I'm going to put it on a LUN. So there's my database, and I'm going to move the log file onto the log mount there. And we can see the resultant of my operation is listed here. So it's currently, we haven't moved it yet, still invalid. However, the wizard's going to move this from the C drive to the DB, and the log file from the C drive to the log mount. So I click next and work my way through the wizard. At this point, I'm assuming that you've already run the wizard beforehand. Here, um, here I get some options around verification before or after the migration, so I tick these appropriately. And also, do I want to keep a copy of the database once I've performed the migration? And do I want to run update statistics on the tables as well? I'm going to keep clicking through. And on my summary page, Here's what I've told it to do. Click finish, kick the job off. So you'll be presented with two tabs. The first is configuration task list. This is the list of tasks that's going to be performed. And this tab here is actually the detailed verbose output of the operations that are currently going on uh, as part of that task list. So you can monitor the task in quite, quite De uh, a lot of detail using this second tab, tab here. And there we have it. The migration has been completed successfully and we get some advice to take in a, a backup immediately. So if you've moved this from one NetApp volume to another as well, then it's obviously worth taking another backup as you need a base snapshot to be able to restore from. So we click OK, and close, and just to check that, we can open our SQL instance here. If we look at the databases, and I look at the properties of it, I can actually see now that the manager has already automatically moved the data and log files to my new locations for me uh, and updated SQL Server appropriately. And that's it, migration done.